Yeah. As at the end of the first quarter of this year, the commission had a back a, a case load of over twenty two thousand complaints that that are yet to be decided. The commission is created by law. The law requires that the chairperson and members of the council of the commission are nominated by the president, confirmed by senate appointed by the president or under his authority. Um, the executive secretary has a tenure of five years and he's an ex officio member of the council. And the other members of the council, uh, 12 other members of the council have a tenure of four years, including the chairperson. And three members are ex officio, without voting powers, representing the, um, the ministries of justice, federal ministries of justice, Foreign Affairs and Interior. The nominations were done by the President in November last year. Senate cleared the first set of seven commissioners on the 8th of, um, of December 2011 and another two in January 2011. That's, that for means at least there were nine. The quorum for meetings of the commission is six. That's a statutory quorum. So with seven members you can meet, you meet statutory, you meet the quorum requirements. So um, on the 3rd of January 2011, uh, 12, the Secretary of the Federal Government transmitted letters of appointment for the members of the commission. And so with effect, and the letters said that the members of the commission were appointed with effect from the 8th of December, which was when the Senate cleared the members of the Commission of, of, the, of the Council. Um, and so that is the factual story. The law also requires that before proceeding to exercise your responsibilities as a member of Council, um, you should make an oath. The word is make an oath. Uh, in accordance with in a form in accordance with the Oaths Act and in a format provided for under the law. Um, so that is what the law says. The law makes no mention of inauguration. But that does not mean inauguration shouldn't happen or it's not a matter of law or it is unlawful. It just means, in my interpretation, that inauguration is a ceremony that can happen. At the discretion of those who do it, but it does not. It's therefore does, it, it does not preclude the commission from conducting its work. But some members believe that it does, and some people in government believe that it does. Um, so, those, in my view, those who wish to exercise the powers of inauguration should do it. Um, I don't think it, you know it precludes the commission from functioning. And I think there's the election of duty by the commissioners who are not performing their responsibilities. I'm sorry. Without a quorum, as, as I said, there are, it's difficult to do the policy work that you've got to do, the controls, and the, and you, you can't take decisions on cases because casework, you know. And, and that's, I think, that's why I say there's the election by members of the commission. And, and I'm happy to go on record on that. And, and the reason is, is, is this. Um, there are violations taking place in Nigeria every day. Nigeria is in a, you know, Nigeria needs all the hands on deck that it can muster. Uh, and if you're having violations taking place in Nigeria submitting complaints to the National Human Rights Commission, and members of the Commission are saying, no, you know, we're not going to do anything about it until we're shaking hands with the Holy Spirit. That's a problem. The National Human Rights Commission is a statutory body, yeah. um, and I think a, a democracy needs an interlocutor for the people. Yeah. Um, I, and I, I take the view that the National Human Rights Commission is an essential entity. Um, look, it, so it's not a question of whether or not the commission should exist. Now, the commissioners are not the commission. Okay. If the commissioners are not performing the role for which it was established, let Nigerians denounce them. It's as simple as that. If Nigerians come to the conclusion 
that the commissioners are not doing what they have been appointed to do, Nigerians should denounce them. And you can quote me on that. For me, the issue is not payment or non-payment. The issue is a sense of duty yeah. to your own people. No. Uh, there is something bigger than money. It's a country that works. 